We are on Uksin. Per Gimel Mishnah Yud, 10th Mishnah, and the third and final chapter of Masachet Uksin. So, this actually Mishnah the Kahati says is repeated, or we already learned it, in Masachet Shvi'i, Perak Yud, Mishnah Zayin. So, you can go back and read that or follow here. It says the Mishnah, Kaveret Dorim, you have a beehive. Rabbi Eliezer Omer, Rabbi Sasare, Kik Karka. The beehive is connected to the ground in some way, so it's like Karka. Why is that important? Okay. The Kotvin Alea Prozvo. That's a lot of halachot vis a vis Karka, that it's like land. The, you, have, you can write upon it a prisbol. What's a prisbol? A prisbol is uh, the very famous document when Shvi'id comes around, when Shemitah comes around. If I owe money to somebody, right, that guy, the, the Shemitah is going to come at the end of Shemitah and negate and cancel all debt. So if the person who I owe money to, the Malve, wants to, wants to retain the right to keep his debts, he writes a prisbol. And in that prisbol, he says, listen, I don't own the debt. I'm going to give it over to Beitin to collect, to the court to collect. It's a very famous document we're all aware about. Now, the key, the, the, the key is, in order to write a prusbal, ain't okay, in prusbal, ella al hakarka. You can only write a prusbal if there is land involved. Kolomar meaning, sheesh la love karka. Let's say I borrowed money, so I have to be a landowner. I have to own some kind of land in order to write a prusbal on the debts that I owe. And therefore, the Mishnah says, if I have a beehive, it's like I have land. Because I can write a prusbal for the person that lent me money. So people are going to, that's so really, I, it's probably in order to avoid, uh, you know, canceling out, not, like you don't want people to keep the debts of, of like small people, the people that don't have of not serious loans. Like only, serious, only certain amounts, kinds of people had land, were landowners. So those kind of people, those kinds of loans would not be canceled on Shvi'id. Furthermore, well, if the B.I. is in its place, it cannot be B'Kabel Tuma. It's like the Bartonura says, why? It's like ground, it's like, you know, connected to the ground, it's like Tuma. Okay? It's an interesting word. Rudia is like is the, the idea of let's look at the kahati at the jastro for a second to detach to break off to take honey out of the beehive. Uksin three tena jastro jackpot. We're going to see there's also a thing called rudia tapat to detach bread from where it sticks to the oven. So that word lirudot rada rade is worthwhile to know. If you detach it for on Shabbat, you're chayav chatat. It's considered it's considered like why why are you chayav chatat? Because Mechalot dvash. If you if you detach chalot, the cakes of honey from the beehive, your chayiv chatat. Why? Ketolesh mekom chibor. Because it's like you're detaching, you're picking something from the ground. It says in Shmuel, Vayitbol ota biyarad dvash. Very famous uh, story. Who, who is it about? I'm not, I'm not I'm not so great in my navi, but but you that when I think it was Yonatan. Uh, yeah, maybe Yonatan, right? Yonatan Shaul's son. I'm pretty sure. You can tell me if I'm wrong. Right, that he was very hungry, and they declared a fast, and he dipped in the yarat vash, and he ate for a little bit from the yarat vash, from the from the honeysuckles or the plants that were there. So the the Gemara says, "V'chima inyan yar eitzel dvash." Why is it called yarat, the forest of honey? Elama yar hatolesh mina b'shabbat chayiv chatat. If you pick pick from the forest on Shabbat yuchayiv chatat, af dvash. Same is true. If you pick honey, harodem menu. If you detach a honey cake from the beehive. Chayav chatat. It's an isu de oraita to detach. So therefore, I rode him imenu chayav chatat. That's the that's Rabbi Lazar's opinion. Chachamim or mimcham say no. Enoch ekarka. It's a beehive. It's not land. The enkot ve'an alei prusbol. And you can't write a prusbol. It's not considered land. Umekabelat tuma bimkoma. It's not considered mechubel ekarka. He became mekabel tuma ve'arode him imenu b'shabbat patur. And if you detach the honey cake from the beehive, it's asur. But patur, you're patur. You're not chayav chatat. But it's still asur amid the rabbanan. All right, we'll stop here. Dedicate our learning to the memory of oh, my father, Rav Simcha Ben Yitzchak Kalman. Make it a great day.